I, I do that because I would see you when you were quite young. Uh, we were in the same salon. Yes, we were. You picked through my hair to pick colors of blonde because I'm a natural blonde. <laughs> I used to love picking through your hair. What good times. Yeah, we should do that again sometime. And your mom is always so nice when I see her. And I, <laughs> I love your dad, by the way, too. It just makes me realize that we both grew up in this sort of bohemian, unorthodox, spend months, you know, at a time in foreign lands. Yeah, it's a wild way to grow up. I feel like it made me, I don't know about you, I feel like you kind of are similar in this way, but it makes you like really adaptable, kind of a very malleable person and you can be anywhere. And I mean, that's why you are amazing on your show is that you can talk to anybody about anything. You have this ability to kind of open your, your awareness and your heart and your mind to people, no matter who they are, or where they're from or what they do. So that's probably like the greatest gift that your upbringing gave you. Well, thank you for saying that. I think the word adaptable is one of the most underrated words because yeah. it really is, it leads to a much better life for you and everyone around you. Do you think you're adaptable? I do, yeah. I think unless you put like a some kind of standardized test in front of me, I'm adaptable, but not in that situation. Cause I jumped from school to school and I was homeschooled and I like struggled so much with homework and you know, all of the things that you're supposed to learn when you're consistently in one place. And I was, you know, living in Spain and Budapest and like Cincinnati and it was all over the map, but it made me love people and love being places. And no matter where I am, I feel like I'm pretty much good. I'm fine. And I noticed in the research I was doing that you do work very hard on yourself and you, you know, you like therapy and since a young age, you've been self-aware. Can you tell me about that? Cause I love that. I've been so lucky to be surrounded by people who have encouraged me to, to go deeper into myself. And I want to just be a good person and be as, as embracive of others as I can. And so I think learning about myself and about the, even the psychology of people like even during quarantine I got really into doing online psychology courses because I never went to college um because I wasn't going to get into college <laughs> <laughs> so, um but I did these amazing courses and and I've, I'll probably be in therapy for the rest of my life it's like you never finish learning about being a human it's true we have this one beautiful existence that we know of, and we're here to remain students and keep learning and improving. Do you have a GED? No. Do you ever want one? I mean, I did graduate high school, but oh. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it was like really, truly by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> well, like that's... I think they were like, get just get her out of here. <laughs> Give her the thing. Get her out of here. <laughs> And I can't imagine you not doing what you do because you're so good at it. And you're Thank you. working in such a prolific, beautiful way. And in this latest film, Our Friend, you play Nicole, who is a real person with cancer. And I was watching the film last night and I just was marveling at your performance what was it like to embody this woman? It was really kind of intense, but but not in a dark way. We and I think partly because we were filming in the town where where Nicole Teague is from, and her family lived there, and her husband Matt, who wrote the original article that the movie's based on, um, lives in the town with the girls, and they'd come around to set. But this town, Fairhope, Alabama was so small and everyone there knew what we were doing and they knew Nicole and they, you know, say in the restaurant that I went into, they'd say, oh, she and Matt used to come and sit here and she always did this and we remember her. Like, it was just 
very, very intense. And this movie is dark and painful, but it's also light and silly and funny. And that's the kind of um, juxtaposition that I find in real life. And for this movie to come out right now is pretty intense, but hopefully it'll help people to, to feel um, inspired. Well, it's beautiful and you're extraordinary in it. And I can't wait for people to see it.